Good afternoon, my name is Samantha Mirabal. I'm going to quick show you how to do a knockdown without having the offset tool. So if I come and create a complex fill, insert complex, what I'm going to do is let's say I want my the fill that's going to hold down the fluff to be, I don't know, maybe four squares away. So I'm going to create a complex fill and eyeball a border around this and I'm not being exact, but oops, let's see. I'll do a curve down here to make it a little smoother. And then, so I'm right clicking around. It's a little too low. There we go. So let's say maybe to here. And I'll do. So all I'm doing is eyeballing around this shape. Maybe a straight line here. Eh. better if you plan this out ahead of time instead of doing what I'm doing which is just clicking away so if I think about where I want how I want the shape to actually look let's get rid of those and come out a little further there we go so let's go maybe straight down and now start curving around this bottom one to here a straight line across to maybe here and then we'll curve it over And I think I'm going to go all the way out to about where I want it here. So let's say here. And then a straight line up and a curve over. And I'm going to hit enter, close the shape. So let's say that's what I want it to look like. Um, I hit enter. I'm going to give it a start point, a stop point, and a stitch direction. And now I'm going to go edit these properties. So I'm going to go to properties, underlay. I'm going to change it to a fill underlay with a border margin of 0 and a density of let's say 15 and then for my top stitching I'm going to change to the exact same density I said there alright and that you know it can be 15 maybe you want it a little more open so I'll change it to 25 and again I have to change that down here to 25 and that will give me a knockdown that I can then put my stitches on top of. And the fill, the wide fill, will hold down my um, the nap of the garment. Now if you want to get a complete edge around here, what you can do is select the fill and hold your shift key down and click on the walk input method. And what that does is you see it added a walk normal in the exact same shape I originally traced. So now that'll hold it down completely and look clean around the edges as well. So that's all there is to it. Just eyeball it around. That way you don't have to use the, the offset and you'll end up with a nice knockdown stitch. Again, my name is Samantha Mirabal. I hope this was helpful for you.